You know, there's a couple deals I think that went like that and then someone else in the rebellion bought them for like what would have been my asking price because I was just afraid of that conversation and like them getting upset at me or thinking I was a jerk or whatever. So this stuff sounds stupid, but especially in the beginning, it can like really slow you down and cripple you a little bit. Self-sabotage, already talked about this a little bit. I'm like just kind of same thing, like a, a lead comes in, a seller comes to me with a lead that seems really good and like I'm excited for like 15 minutes and then I'll start, I'll slow down and be like, well, what if this went wrong? Or what if this went wrong? Like that 9.4 square feet per person, I swear that almost kept me from buying this deal that we're gonna make $2 million on in two years. And luckily I think Mike probably talked me off the ledge a couple of times of like, what's the worst that could happen? But you know, that's stuff that, that was real. So <clears throat> limiting beliefs, they're for everyone. They can come in different phases of your business. It's not just the beginners that deal with this. So phase one, you're the beginner. <laughs> All right. So this is like maybe the people who are here for the first time. If you don't know who that is, it'll become apparent. <clears throat> you're maybe here for the first time, just started storage. Like you learned how to analyze maybe, but you haven't got your deal first, your first deal yet. These are some things that might be going through your head, some questions, some beliefs that you might be dealing with. Can I make money in this business? It's kind of like that, my first limiting belief of others can succeed, but I can't. Like, okay, I've seen all these people make money, but I've been working for six months and don't see anything in my bank account, so is this thing gonna be real for me? What will my friends and family think? I had a brief conversation with someone today about like family, um, how it's, it's hard to like talk to friends about this stuff because you know they think you're crazy. <clears throat> and that, that ties back to fear of rejection, things that you learned when you were young, family rules. I think the Big Leap talks about that, like you're breaking the unspoken rules of your family. Maybe your dad's a doctor, your mom's a principal, and they wanted you to follow like a career path like that. You're doing this crazy stuff. I don't deserve to succeed. This could be one you're probably not gonna like tell people this is my fear, this is my limiting belief, but it might be in here, maybe not even conscious, maybe sub subconscious. <clears throat> what if I fail? Fear of failure. What will I lose if I fail? For some it's like that nest egg of savings. If I blow this whole savings on one deal, what does that do to me? It took me five years to build that up. Now I'm back to square one. What could I lose? All right, so those are some some things that you might be dealing with in that beginning phase. 